Now you may have noticed, especially with the RX 18 GTX 1060 launches, that a lot of us reviewers, including myself, haven't been talking about DirectX 12 and Vulcan games necessarily the way we should have been doing. Um, and you can claim bias all you like, but the main reason for me anyway is that DirectX 12 and Vulcan games are really hard to benchmark, or at least they were until a couple of days ago. But uh, basically, um, you know, we normally use an application like Fraps, which is very simple, easy to use, kind of one button press to generate your frame times, your minimax and average FPS, and your FPS numbers. But unfortunately, since it hasn't been updated in several years, it just doesn't work with Vulkan and DX12 and Universal Windows Platform games. So uh, yeah, we had to kind of get something else. Now a couple of guys at Intel made PresentMon, which is a command line application that allows you to benchmark these games, which is awesome. But as I said, it's a command line interface, which means it's a little bit difficult to use. And the results file that it spits out isn't very uh, kind of user friendly either. You have to do quite a few calculations to it to get any usable numbers. So. Uh, that's kind of where myself and my friend Jim from Adore TV come in. Now he's done a fantastic video on this topic, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the uh, description down below and I'll leave a card up above as well, um, as it's a fantastic video and explains it very well. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. So as I said, PresentMon is a command line application, which means it's a little bit difficult to use, um, especially for people who aren't necessarily as kind of technically minded and can't you know program that well type thing and aren't experienced with the command line. You have to change directory to it. You have to find the process ID for the game you want to capture. You have to input the delay and timer in milliseconds and that sort of thing. And it's, it's just a bit difficult. And as I said, the output file um, is kind of relatively unusable. You have to do a few calculations to it to get usable numbers. So it's not an entirely simple process. And so the reason that we kind of did anything here was, as I said, it's, it's a bit difficult to use. I actually couldn't get it to work myself properly. So I decided, I think it was on a Sunday afternoon, since I had Visual Studio Community Edition already installed, I, I would write a C-sharp um, uh, kind of Windows Forms application as a kind of front end or a launcher for it, um, which actually has worked really well. The application, is relatively simple. It allows you to pick the application, uh, you know, the pick the process that you want to capture. You know, pick the game from a list. Basically, uh, you can then change, uh, put the delay in seconds and the timer in seconds, uh, and fairly easily add a uh, simple mode and see no CSV mode, and add other sort of uh, arguments as well, which is uh, you know kind of all just listed there for you. And then click a button and it just runs. You can then play your game and benchmark it, and it's fairly simple, which is awesome. Um, I sent the application over to my friend Jim at Adore TV, um, who suggested some improvements for it, including putting the delay into seconds and stuff like that, and adding a refresh button for the process list, and then uh, actually kind of inspired him to go uh, learn Python, which he hasn't programmed in like 20 or 30 years, so this is you know, impressive for him. Um, yeah, I went and learned Python so that you could write a Venture application which allows you to read in the uh, results file and then it generates your min, max and average FPS and outputs a very usable and graphable file. And we've been working on this especially in the last day since he did his video and uh, we've both added some changes to it so that um, you now see your average FPS in uh, the, the average F FPS is calculated by the total number of frames divided by the total time so that it's not the instantaneous FPS um, that you're averaging anymore. Uh, and then also the output file is actually really graphable because we've normalized the data. What I mean by normalized is that for say a 60 second benchmark that you may run, one graphics card may generate 4,000 frames in that time, whereas another one on the same run, same 60 seconds, might only generate 3,000. And so to graph that is a little bit difficult, but we've outputted the total time, the cumulative time now, so that it's very easy to just pick the uh, total time and either the FPS or the frame times, and then show that on a graph and be able to compare them to other graphics cards very easily. Um, so it's a, a actually a really useful application which is really awesome uh, considering that we're both very much not professional programmers. That's a key point I want to make clear. We are purely doing this, you know, this is an entirely free application. I've linked to my GitHub with all the project files and the installer EXE there. So if you want to pick this up, it's entirely free, you know, there's no cost to it at all. And if you want to tinker with it, feel free. It'd actually be awesome to get your support and to get some, uh, you know, more professional or at least more experienced hands working on this just because, as I said, we are not professionals. Um, Jim has, as I said, just learned Python for this and uh, my Python changes that I've added were purely just kind of looking through it and kind of working out sort of pseudocode in my head type thing and uh, 
my C sharp knowledge is very limited. It's pretty much purely self-taught, and yeah, it's it's relatively simple. So again, don't hate us and hate on us for this. If we haven't done anything, uh, you know, how, if we haven't done some or we did something that isn't kind of industry standard, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, feel free to you know give us help and fix it, as opposed to just shouting at us for it, because we know we're not you know professionals or anything. But yeah, if you do want to help out, feel free to check out the check out the GitHub repository as all the files are there. Um, and I'm trying to keep them up to date as I'm doing changes. But if you you know send a request or something or uh, send a suggestion and I don't reply to you instantly, it's because that you know writing programs isn't my full time job. You know making these videos is so um, do bear with me. But uh, yeah, if you do want to help out, it'd be awesome. And you can check out the link and leave a comment or send me an email as well. So. Uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Also, one of the really cool things is that I reached out to Intel to make sure that they were okay with me redistributing their program as the installer includes a copy of the Bencher program as well as obviously the launcher and present one itself that all get installed in a single folder so that it's easy to use um, and sort of self-contained as such. But uh, yeah, they were very happy for me to distribute it and they were also uh, really impressed with the work and they said that, that like this sort of thing is the reason that they do these projects and publish them. Um, and they're actually having me guest blog on their game developer site, which is just awesome and kind of really cool to be recognized by Intel. But uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping that this is something that everyone will, you know, as reviewers any will we use for DirectX 12 and uh, Vulcan games to benchmark them. Um, and uh, yeah, if you if you are a reviewer and you want uh, a copy, there's a link down below where you can download the most recent one on GitHub. And if you want any advice or help with it, then feel free to send me an email. Uh, I'm more than happy to talk it through. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project and the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe, like, and of course, if you're buying anything on Amazon, it'd be awesome if you use my affiliate link and help me out monetarily, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, as I said, thanks for watching. If you feel you know, if you feel that this isn't a worthwhile project or something, then feel free to dislike, but let me know why in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Check out some of the other videos. We've actually got the RX470 review coming out tomorrow at 2 p.m. So do stick around for that. I'm including Vulcan results and I'm actually pretty blown away. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all in the next video.